So did you know that Tesla stock reports earnings after the market closes today, April 19th? What's going on, guys? It's Ricky with Tech Solutions here with a super quick stock market update. Just want to make you guys aware right now I do have an open short position on NASDAQ, meaning that I would make money as NASDAQ market sells off. I'm a little on the green. We just wrapped up our live trading session, but I just wanted to make sure that I kept you guys up to date. Uh, I don't see anything crazy going on. It's actually, if you look at this on the 30 minute time frame, we're testing the same general support range right around 316 that we've been been testing uh, for the past two days, Monday and on Tuesday. So again, patterns tend to repeat themselves. They don't always have to. If we break below this support zone, and again, mark my words, be ready to drop down to 313. If we hold above this, we'll most likely go back to retest 320. It's been the same roller coaster that we've been experiencing for the past eight trading days, and I'm just so fed up with it. And I really hope that Tesla, with what it announces today, changes this, right? I don't know if it's going to, but I'm really hoping so. So again, for those that are unaware, Tesla stock reports earnings today for its Q1 of 2023 after the market closes. So what what do we need to know, right? Very quickly, right? I wanted to make sure that you guys are aware that it is the sixth price cut in 2023 that Tesla announced. But on top of that, it is the second price cut, if I'm not mistaken, um, this month alone. And that is for the Tesla Model Y. And that is a price cut of 3000 and the Tesla Model 3. Elon needs to stop these price cuts because I bought a dang Tesla Model X at the peak when it was valued at 140,000 macaroonies. And now with all these price cuts, I think it's worth like 120,000. So I'm getting smoked. I don't know about you guys for all those Tesla owners out there. Uh, but what come, what about Tesla earning expectation? Very simple. Uh, analysts predict that Q1 will be 85 cents per share, right? There's two main focuses. It's earnings per share and overall revenue. So this 85 uh, cents per share, they expect that to be a 20% drop compared to last year. Wall Street also forecasts that revenue is growing by 26% and the expectation is $23.73 billion. Now, one of the things that I just want to remind you and I cannot stress this enough, is that any time that a company reports earnings, right, we're entering earnings season, and this is just my last little tip for beginners, reporting earnings is only part of it. And then there's an earnings call where they announce guidance for up and coming quarters. That often actually ends up being more important than what has been reported about the past. Obviously, if they report a horrible or an unbelievable previous quarter, then sure, you know, we could see a great positive catalyst or a great negative catalyst. But what is often most important is the guidance, the expectation for future quarters, if they're about to slow down, if they're going to lay off people, or if they're going to ramp up production, and they have huge expectations for up and coming quarters that gets factored in instantly into the stock market. And I just want you guys to be aware of this, because I do not want any of you to be left on the sidelines if you're like, well, this, this was a good earnings. Why is the market selling off, right? Why is Tesla selling off? But then you didn't pay attention to the actual guidance call. So I'm not going to be able to live stream this one today because I am going to be traveling. But any question that you have about this, I hope that you know that I'm always just one direct message away. And that's going to be via Discord. And that's that first link in the description down below. Other than that, again, I'll make sure that I follow up. It looks like NASDAQ market is going back to retest that same resistance at 317.50. Stay patient, stay light, because it's most likely going to be a very volatile day, knowing that one of the most volatile stocks out there uh, in the billion dollar market cap known as Tesla is going to be reporting earnings today after the market closes. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. If not, again, friendly reminder, I do trade live with one team and one team only, and it is my LPP team. Uh, it's one-time payment, lifetime access, and trust me, I just I want you to experience what it's like to watch me trade live. So even if before you sign up, feel free to shoot me a direct message via Discord or a direct message via Instagram. Everything is linked in the description. My Instagram is the third link. Uh, my Discord is the first link. Shoot me a direct message and be like, Ricky, I wanna watch one of your previous live sessions. I want to see if this is something that I want to be a part of, right? I want you to get a taste of what our LPB team gets to experience every day. If you like being able to see my entries, my exits, but most importantly, here in my thought process, then you can make a more informed decision and in being able to more comfortably join our LPB team, knowing 
the expectation of what we provide every single day. Remember, it's not just the course, it's literally you get to watch me trade live every day. And let's be honest, what's better value than real-time value in the stock market? So uh, very excited to follow up. Hope that we're in a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. And don't forget to enter our GTR giveaway. That's that fourth link in the description down below if you guys want to learn more about that. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.